Does anything feel better than when something in your brain just clicks? A lesson, an idea, or perhaps a business plan? Yeah, and then you said, I know a better way to do this. It was just really more of an idea. So that was definitely top of our mind and something that we were really wanting to kind of find a solution for. And that was really when the glass kind of shattered for me. These eager entrepreneurs have come a long way from their initial brainstorming, but there are moments of pure inspiration in that split-second spark they held in their hands. Recognizing what that value feels like is a key step for emerging entrepreneurs. That's why we had to ask again, what was the aha moment for your startup? Let's go back 11 years when we first had the idea. So my partner, who is the technologist, was able to build an app that allows people to self-organize. And with that, we were able to move 5,000 people on our first shot and thought, well, this could be you know, applied to any sort of situation where people want to get together. We've been applying this concept of ride sharing to football games, concerts, festivals, you name it. Uh, we went full time with it. It was just really more of an idea. Um, because it was a political event, we were inspired personally to help, but it was many years later that it became a business. It all started, I guess, with a breakup. And you were saying, you were just saying that all your friends and colleagues were going on these terrible app dates, right? Yeah. And yeah. we were like, well, no wonder when dating apps are based pretty much solely on looks. Like, it just seemed a bit crazy when technology is so advanced in so many ways and then people were, were matching based on a couple of photos. It just seemed really odd. Yeah. Yeah, and then you said, I know a better way to do this. But to be honest, I didn't really know much about the Myers-Briggs theory at the time. And I, then we started applying it to everyone, really. Yeah. And well, it just made so much sense. Like we started looking at friends, couples. I was in a long-term relationship with my perfect personality match that I had like no idea about. But yeah, so then I was yeah. on board. Every time I would go on Instagram or TikTok or Pinterest or Facebook, I saw so many people sharing their food. But not a single one of these platforms actually catered to the needs of those posting. Put a pin in it just like we do any other idea. But as the weeks, months went on, Instead of finding flaws, as we usually do with other ideas that we've come up with, we start to recognize more reasons why people want this platform. And like when the pandemic started, uh, I would be on Instagram and I just saw people that I never thought would step into their kitchens posting, you know, sourdough bread starters and you know, homemade ravioli. And we said, hey, clearly there's something here. If only we had that app. And that was really when the glass kind of shattered for me. You know, as the days went on, I realized, why am I sitting here waiting for someone else to build a successful company that I've been imagining for over a year now? I called up Matt and I said, listen, I'm going to move forward with this. Um, and I'd love to have you, you know, be there by my side. A day later, he came back and he said, Jay, let's do this. Because I am myself, I'm a non-native English speaker and I relocated to the United States so around five years ago and I needed to improve my writing skills, my language skills, and so I tried a bunch of solutions, uh, writing assistance software, and I realized that uh, these tools were not that good for me because I had a problem that, for example, I was not good with articles and so I could make a mistake with article. 100 of times. Then I clicked accept for the correction 100 of times and then I made the same mistake again and again. I realized that maybe it would be, would be cool to create a tool that would not only fix my writing just a way, but also will offer me some personalized training and insight on how to make my writing better, how to improve my skills. So uh, seven years ago I lost my mother to cancer and before I lost her I I spent a lot of time with her, um, you know, sitting with her, talking with her. And in the last few months, she told me that you know, that it doesn't really help that I'm with her because she feels lonely. Like she knows that I care about her. She knows that I love her. But since I don't know what, what it is to be dying. I don't know what it is to be thinking that you're kind of what will be with your children. And Two days after she told me that, I overheard her speaking with a friend of hers that had cancer as well. And my mother was vivid and alive and happy and kind of like, I felt that she was kind of striving and I was overwhelmed by the differences between the two conversations. And then I went out and I was looking for a go-to place, a place for people that are dealing with any kind of emotional challenge. Um, 
and there wasn't any and kind of like i was struck by like we are we live in a connected world in a world with you know it's, we, we are talking right now you know from different parts of, of the world but yet we connect and there isn't a go-to place for people that are dealing with the same life challenge to connect in a meaningful and a structural way and that's what we're building the circles and that's kind of like where it came from for the origin story of koya which happened at my dad's birthday party i think it was four years ago in february uh, essentially we were at a restaurant all together and we were asking him our typical question which is what do you want to see happen this year what are you most excited about <clears throat> and without skipping a beat he said i want to start a family business at the time all of us had different things going on so that was not top of our mind um, but it was his birthday and so we decided okay we'll humor him and he ended up asking us what's one of the biggest problems you're facing right now My sister and I at the time we were working for different nonprofits and socially conscious companies. So we were out of town. We were overseas about 60 to 80 percent of the year. And one of the biggest things that we were experiencing is we were missing birthdays, bad days, breakups, anything that helps build relational equity we were absent for. So that was definitely top of our mind and something that we were really wanting to kind of find a solution for. And our dad has a background in geolocation. And so immediately that's kind of where his mind went, was like, what if we created something that utilized geolocation to allow you to connect in a more meaningful way? This group of entrepreneurs has come to a bit of a consensus. The motivation for creating a solution for loved ones, friends, and family is invaluable. Not only does it drive you to do your best, but it also helps you stay grounded in your development as you get their feedback. Early validation and encouragement that your idea could be a real solution for people, and not just something that might work in a vacuum, can make that aha moment click in a much clearer way. It's easy to think that entrepreneurs make success all on their own, but the reality is that fostering community, collaboration, and connectivity make the best solutions.